Hey going, Lincoln here from Landfish TV. Couldn't really sleep tonight, so I actually came out for a fish. Wasn't quite sure what I was gonna do, so I packed a couple of bait rods and a couple of plastics rods. When I got down here, I actually saw that there was a ton of mullet around. So I thought, hey, why not do some live baiting? So the first challenge was trying to get the bait. Normally what I'd try and do is use my landing net and go around and scoop some mullet up. but tonight they were not playing the game. I put some bread out, hoping they would come in closer, and they did, but every time they saw me, they just scooted off and they wouldn't come anywhere near me when I was there. So I had to employ a different tactic. It's a really, really simple thing I'm doing. I've actually just got a roll of 10 pound leader that I had in my tackle box. And I was trying to skip up larvies with my landing net. Wasn't working. So, Decided to make up this little rig. Little Lumo bead just to give it some weight and so I can see where it is. A couple of really tiny hooks. And all I'm doing is loading this up with a little bit of bread. Then chucking a couple of little bits out to bring in the mullet. Then I'm getting a few. And they're going on a bigger hook for a bigger fish hopefully. Plenty of hook exposure, as much as my fat fingers can do. Sort of ruin that one, but should be right. A little bit of bread goes out, light goes off. Just wait till I find that bread. Yep. <laughs> Another one. It's pretty cool to come and catch a bait with a little bit of line and a tiny hook. Exactly where you're going to be fishing. I'll put you in there. Maybe one more just in case. Just in case the mullet go away and I run out of bait. Good little bait getting device this one. Just made it up tonight because we couldn't catch them in the net. But yeah, I got a few. Go sit back down and hey. Treat them real nice. <laughs> They'll last longer. Pop them in my keep net. Yep, just like that. So there you have it. Little tiny hooks. A oh. little bit of bread. Got some larvies. Oh. See if we can turn it into any kind of fish. Pretty simple rig I'm using with the larvies. Just sliding sinkers straight on the main line. Swivel. I've only got about 20 pound litre there and just got a circle hook. So hopefully that reduces any gut, gut takes that we might get. Now, how I like to rig my liveys, especially when there's just slow current, is that dorsal fin there, just below it, get some scales back, pop it through, and there we have it. Nice kicking livey. So I've got one out there, one out here just close. I'm gonna go and catch some more liveys just in case. Oh, this rod just moved. I've got a tiny little livey on this rod as well. A little one to three kilo. Hopefully catch something on that. Wind this one in and see if the livey is still alive. Oh, that's bent over a little bit. Where's that one go? 
that's all right. This one's out there a little bit. I think the water must have changed. I just want to make sure that the livey on that rod is kicking really well. So then, hopefully that thumping action will get something to come have a chew. Little livey in there waiting. A couple more in the other net up there. But I'll get this one in. See. I don't know, I've got something on here. Yep. I think this will be a banjo. Or a big, big lump of weed. But it felt like it kicked before. Yeah, it's moving. Feeling banjo-ish because it ain't fighting much. Didn't take off. Unless I didn't hear it while I was mucking around. Reckon that's a band -aid. Yeah, band -aid. Get away from my other lighty, buddy. because I think I just tangled my other line. <laughs> Look at that rod bend. <laughs> I was going to fix up this one. <sighs> so I don't lose the nice larvae I've got on it. can have a swim where he wants. Just putting that on there so if it wobbles around that's hopefully going to drop to the ground and let me know. Right, let's deal with this banjo. <laughs> Just sitting him in the rod holder there. They really don't have a fight at all in them. Banjo, banjo. Grab your tail, mate. Oh, there we go. Banjo, banjo. Something took live bait at least. Just not this fella, it's not what I wanted. But gonna get the hook out of him. Well, banjo banjo. <laughs> Live bait stealer. Beautiful creatures though. You can go back in. Don't steal my bait again. He will. It's always exciting when that rod goes off. And unfortunately, I didn't have 
what I wanted on the end of the line, but fish is a fish and it's still better than a donut. Well, lucky I got my liveys. There we go, kick, kick, kick. Get this one back out there. <sighs> so I'm sitting in the chair right now and I'm not gonna turn the light on yet, but the left hand side rod just had a real hard thump. And I saw a big swell in the water. Hopefully it's going to come back for a second take. Oh, well, I might wind this one in. See if there's any damage to the old fella. Put a fresh one on if I need to. Feels like he's gone. Damn, he's gone. So. A big thump took the bait glad I checked that so we'll chuck a freshie on this one then I might have to actually catch some more bait so I think I've only got two mullet left so we've got some action damn I think it's another banjo Yeah, it feels like another banjo. I'm zigzagging. Maybe another banjo. <laughs> no, there's a banjo. <laughs> Better not be the same one that bloody got me before. They're gonna take on my liveys. Banjos for days. Oh, banjo number two. Don't know if it's the same banjo. <laughs> Hope not. Oh, there is banjo number two. Please don't eat my live bait. So all that hard work catching live bait and it got eaten up by banjos. But you know what? I don't mind too much. I had one take, which it was really dark and I know I told you, but the rod had a big thump and there was a big swirl in the water that I could see. So I'm pretty sure that was one of those silver ghosts, but I left it in there for a little while and it came up empty because it taken the bait. So it took the livey right off the hook, which is a bit unusual, but it managed to do it. Uh, stayed for a couple of hours after that and didn't really have any action at all. But you know what, it's fishing. I've been out here, I had, I had fun. It wasn't busy and during the day when I came here at about five or something, it was packed. So I went, turned around, went back home and got the itch and I came out again tonight. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about how to catch liveys when you need to. Little hooks, bit of bread, that should get you some liveys. If it doesn't, um, put a plastic on. <laughs> See you next time. Well, I'm all done for the night. 3 a.m. in the morning. Gonna let these fellas go. Didn't end up using those three. So they can just go for a swim. Catch them all next time.